Instagram, Facebook. I don't know why I mentioned Instagram. They don't even let me publish. So Facebook, YouTube, how you guys doing? You know me, Mark Morris. Back in 20, 2018, had a student loan that was $94,485. Now it's down to $13,900. I'm working, working on paying it off as soon as possible. Investing in Grant Cardone's real estate investment. So I'm getting about two to three hundred dollars a month. Uh, three, two to three hundred dollars a year or more based on how the apartments do with that. Working on my business too, old to be broke.com. I sell these. $289 objection book where I just go into work and just let you know my objections. So I did give I wanted to give you the results from last night. The other night I had 4,990 on 818 I had $992 in sales. The following day 4,992 and then it dropped back down because I was working on some other projects and I have other staff down to $115 but I helped promote I helped promote a $23,476, um, what you call it, uh, chess set by Baccarat. Also, like I helped a couple, they were looking for a, 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 a present for the marriage. They said they didn't want to spend a lot of money. And I had to think, I had to exhaust my inventory like Grant said. And there was this $120 ring dish. I said, that is perfect. Because everyone else at the wedding is going to get them towels, all kind of stuff. Hey, just get them a nice little wedding ring thing. So, hey, honey, just, just take that little dish. So, wherever we go, or or, like, or just at the home. Hey, honey, just put out like they'll start. Let's, let's remember our communion so they can both put their rings in there. Kind of just remember to put the ring in there at the house or something when they're doing an activity so they don't forget it. And you can put some champagne and some cheeses. It's so like you guys can reminisce and like have this little thing to remind you that you were both united. Does that sound good? You guys like that, man. Maybe I should be a wedding planner. So go take a look at that. So today I'm heading off to work. Not much today. Has, uh, came in. It was a coming down, uh, what you call it? Base Highland Avenue. The accident. Someone ran into a Tesla. And of course, why the black people walk in front of me? You don't do it. You, back in the 60s, you wouldn't walk in front of no crazy white man. Why are you going right in front of me? Oh, he looks like he won't run me over. I tell you, man, some brother was jaywalking. It's like, what are you doing, bro? Call a tow truck. I can't, what can you do? My young brother. My young brothers, man. Have times have changed, but they got Teslas, all these fancy cars, but still don't know how to drive. Okay, whatever. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is. You never know what's gonna happen, man. So I'm learning to pay attention. I'm working on my budget. Grant Cardone has me raising 100k. I'm selling these 280 dollars objection books. My goal is to sell 1,050 before the end of the year. I know you guys are a lot in, gonna get a lot of sales skills coming up this holiday season because I don't know what what to think. So go take a look at that. Here it looks. This is what I had: 992, 492. $115. Just using Brett. But what happened was that $400,992 other sales during the day helped push the store over a million dollars in sales. As of August 18th, we had $1,004,008.29. Like to close the day, that pushed us over the million dollar mark for the year in sales. So now we're going to go for $2.2 million. Now we're going to really 10x it with grant skills. How are we going to do that? Promote, promote, promote. So what I realized, Grant says, you got to just promote, man. Anybody can sell, anybody can close, but you got to promote, follow up, promotion, follow up. We'll talk about that later, if I remember. Remind me, guys, that's why you need to buy my stuff or get into a $118 month program.